What up, y'all? How y'all doing? Shout out to the collective. I'm chilling here in the car, you guys, and uh, I'm doing what I do best, so just sitting here with myself. Um, I just had a thought on full body routines. You know, I've been I've been back on them myself for the last two months, still adjusting the protocol, still adjusting volume and intensity. But um, this is probably the, I believe, the fifth or sixth time that I've um, kind of routinely switch back into the full bodies from either a push-pull legs, um, more of your technical bro split of hitting something every like five days. Um, I've gone three days, just about every split, even um, working a body part out every single day. And that can even have has its advantages like on a squat, you know, just coming in and banging out three sets of squat every single day. It's just basically tremendous for your nervous system even and um, your hormonal balances. But with the full body routine, you know, there's a lot there's a lot of pros to them. You know, specifically, the body is a single locomotive vessel, right? So every single time you're breaking your workouts down into one, two, three, four, or five different exercise days, you know, you're really you're really removing the synchronicity and harmony um, from the body. It can be argued that, you know, you're not putting your whole body under um, tremendous stress, but at the same time, full body routines are more about applicability, um, lifestyle, and not about, um, it's, you know, life isn't about competing, right? It's not about bodybuilding and competing. It's about sustainability, health, and wellness, and being more proficient and healthy in your life. And working out and training will do that, and is at the forefront and baseline of every athletic sport. You can't, this cannot be denied. So specifically, when you work the full body routine all in one day, three times a week, it's advantageous because your body is working as one. It's all one and the same. I notice personally, like inflammation is usually lower in the body. You know, the aches and pains I have in my shoulder and rotator cuff from um, early stress and trauma in the gym and um, athletics in school and high school, all those things are minimized. And as I start to train, you know, you just truly break through, you know, that initial two, three weeks of shock because I always put too much volume classically in and try to hit the five to 10 um, set mark on even heavier days. And that's just not smart. You have to be accountable and figure out what's actually essential and applicable for your day. You know, if you're just trying to get in shape or if you're trying to be in tremendous shape, no matter what, switching up your routine routinely is key. You know, spend something, spend two, three months and, and step back and see um, if you've made progress. And if not, you know, maybe switch things up again. But no matter what, the full body routine cannot be denied, you guys. Um, another thing I notice is I tend to overshoot when I'm doing it every four to five day split. I tend to overshoot programming because you feel like you have extra time off. So you tend to overshoot on protocol or weight or reps or volume in general. And I end up becoming more sore, more inflamed. And uh, then there's also um, that lack of motivation sometimes to return to the gym for a certain body part being too achy or um, lack of motivation in the mind because I will push myself to a um, state of anxiety because there's already a lot of high energy in the gym and then you're coming in and putting more stress on the body so it's difficult. You know, so I really have to work on minimizing that myself. You know, and also when you're hitting the body everything comes down to sheer consistency. The body responds to just whatever whatever program you guys can actually put together for yourself is the best protocol, right? Anything you can stay on that you're going to have inspiration to actually stick to, have consistency with, that's the key. That's it right there. You don't need any protein powders that'll inflame your gut, right? And <laughs> give you acne, right? We don't need any of this stuff. The most important thing is to have a care, a willingness to do something, that's rule number one. And then jump towards it. Have a realistic, accountable protocol that you can stick to on a daily basis, day in and day out, and that will reap rewards, okay? You know, when you come in and then even if you do 10, 12 sets on a um, push-pull leg routine with a three to five day split routine, you come in, it doesn't matter how many sets you do. I tend to notice that after that second day, within 48 hours after the protein synthesis is even clinically been... Um, tested saying that you know it's time to train again but man like if I'm getting in three days a week and hitting legs 
pretty ferociously three days a week, but only hitting them between um, four and eight sets, um, I, it's hard for me to overshoot. In fact, I don't ever overshoot. Sometimes I get a little ahead of myself and want to add extra volume, but that's just, that's the name of the game. So I just wanted to get this note off talking about how full bodies really is, it, it makes you realize that, you know, the old school days before they had marketing and all these things and people pushing bodybuilder routines, that's because it's supported 100% um, with enhancements, with steroid use, and it can enhance the protein synthesis. This is all over the internet. People know this already. But we really need to get back to just full body routines, you guys, because it's something where even if you miss a day, it's easy to catch back up. It brings balance and proportionality and symmetry to the body, which is the main proponent in bodybuilding. And uh, you, you don't want weak points, you know, like I, I grew up with more of a chest dominance and a lack of connection to my back and rear delts. So I spent years and then even after a car accident, you know, I start geeking my, my neck forward, you know, and, and being even disproportionate, you know, you have to pull your posture back and really accentuate your weak points. Don't come in you guys and if you have big biceps, just smash your biceps, hit biceps last. It gives you the ability to remove the ego and actually work with your body, not with chemicals outside of your body, but working with what you have truly, what you were given here, okay? Naturally. I hope this helps out a little bit because I think the full body workouts, you know, once we can get away from like, it's just all about competing and all this, you know, when we, when people lose the muscle suit and what's beyond that, don't you still want to be in it for health and wellness and still be in the gym if you really love it? That's what everyone touts, um, totes about online is how passionate they are and how driven and how everyone's a wolf, right? <laughs> everyone's a wolf and then everyone following them is a sheep supposedly. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. You know, give full bodies a try, you guys. And then, you know, if you're sticking on the Monday uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, then take the weekends off. Always give yourself at least two days off on the weekend, three, and then repeat, you know, and this gives you a chance to prioritize which body parts you want to pull up. You know, I always recommend starting with legs and then going through. And then, um, on the first day, really, um, emphasize your compound lifts, work in the shorter, uh, rep range and increase the weight and work on progressive hypertrophy. And then on the second day, work on the lightest stuff, you know, a lot more isolation stuff, work on um, detail work, um, maybe all the extremities, calves, um, um, stuff like traps and forearms, and then back clean up you guys on the Friday and come in and sit in the ra rep range of more like 10 to 15 and have a nice medium rep range day, okay? And it's all about active recovery on the second day and then again, initiating more weight and volume on the last day again before the weekend. Um, give it a shot. You know, this is what they used to do in the old days before um, steroids were promoted. So it, it gives people who aren't just sitting there trying to train for a trophy something you can do always when you're, you know, you're the business lady or businessman on a trip, right? You're out on vacation or you're out at home and you just have a busy life and you need to get to other things. It's just realistic. You know, it's all about taking accountability with this stuff. Anyways, guys, this is just a little friendly note, little reminder. Um, you can go check me out at actually natural, actually underscore natural on Instagram. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff, guys. Be up, stay up, and be good.